Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So, this guy running around is going to be the focus of today's video. Um, that is the Water Paldean Tauros. And if you don't know, he gets a really cool ability called Anger Point, meaning if he gets hit with a critical hit, his attack goes to plus six immediately. We're going to pair him with Miss Frostlass, the Majestic Ice Queen over here, um, who gets a 100% crit attack called Frost Breath. Um, well, yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to do today. Uh, I'll leave the rest to your imagination, as you'll see as we jump into these battles here. Uh, but, with that being said, if you guys like watching me run some off-meta mons like uh, Hisui and Electrode here on the Regulation F ladder, consider dropping a like, dropping a comment, dropping a sub. It would mean the absolute world to me. You guys have shown an incredible amount of support lately, and I honestly couldn't ask for... Um, better group of uh, viewers and a better fan base. You guys have been absolutely incredible. But we're on the road to 80 subs, so if you guys can help me get there, I'd greatly appreciate it. But that is going to be it. Uh, let's go ahead and hop in, have some fun. I'll see you guys on the other side. Alrighty, so pretty standard uh, Mons here on the other side of the field. We got the Landorus. Gallade is pretty off meta. Um, Wellspring Mask, Ogre Pond, Tornadus, Goldango, Sheng Pao. So, I think we're cool to lead the normal duo here of Frostlass and Tauros. I have no problem with that. Um, who looks good here? They have a lot of threats. Let's see. Fairy and Dark could be pretty good. Kinda Goldango scary. What's, what's our Goldango answer? We definitely need a Goldango answer. Um, that could either be the Electrode. It could be Electrode or Extra Growth. I think have to make an appearance just based on what they're bringing here. Low key, want to go with the drill? Yeah, let's go with Extra Drill. I need one more. I'm gonna bring the Grim. Hope I don't regret that, but... I do like bringing the Latios, or the Latios, excuse me. Because my Latios has Heal Pulse, so it just kind of gets the, uh, the Tauros back up to good health. If it takes too much damage. Especially considering the requirement for this um, combo to work is my Tauros taking damage, so... Okay. I have a play. Frost Breath, Terra Steel to take the incoming Psychic move. And... Just Raging Bull this thing. only thing that could screw us over, and it has happened in a few practice rounds, is that Frost Breath, which is the move I'm going to use to crit my own Tauros, is 90% accurate. Which, as we know in Pokemon, really means, like, 75% accurate. So, it's going to be a little spooky. They're going to go Terra Steel, but that's fine. Raging Bull is still going to hurt the same. But ironically, I'm also going Terra Steel. So double, double, whole bunch of axes on the field. We got axes everywhere. It's sharp as fuck out here. Be careful. Be careful. Proceed with caution. All right, two Terra Steels on turn one. Very interesting. Uh, they're gonna Tailwind. I should be able to take whatever this thing goes for. It's gonna be a Leaf Blade. Nice. Take that pretty dang well. Please do not miss this Frost Breath. Please hit me. Thank you so much! Oh yeah, baby! Plus six, Raging Bull, goodbye. And their terror's gone. And the best part of all this is my Frost Slash is Focus Slash. It can now just be annoying. Unfortunately, everything over there is going to outspeed me now, but it is what it is is what it is. 
good start to the battle so far. Thankfully, Frostlass has his glasses on today and didn't miss a uh, the Frost Breath. Now they're confused. They're like, ah, crap. This guy's got a plus six Tauros. And you're lucky I didn't bring Lottie off so I can heal him back up. So I am stuck at the HP I'm at. I do have Aqua Jet to outspeed their Tailwind and whatnot, so I could probably clip that Tauros, or that, uh, Tornadus. They're thinking long and hard. Come on, brother. Bring out the next victim. Bring them on out of here. Alright, so. It is gonna be the POW. So, what I'm gonna try and do is burn this and Aqua Jet that. So I probably get hit with the Sacred Sword here. More than likely. There's the jet. Bada bing, bada boom. Goodbye. Toro's cooking. So, oh, they don't attack me. That's a mistake, my good sir. Hit the wisp. Hit the wisp. Oh, we cooking different, baby. We cooking. We cooking different, boy. Let's go. So Shang Pao is no longer a threat. Voice cracks right there, Shang Pao. Uh, no longer a threat. Um, let's see what their last mon is. And now I can just Aqua Jet the, uh, the Shang Pao here. It is gonna be the Wellspring, who I'm also gonna try to burn. I'm sure they're gonna kill me before I can, but worth a shot. And because I don't fear I'm gonna double kick into this thing, so I'm not worried about the Shang Pao right now. We're gonna double the we're gonna double double the ogre because it's the biggest threat on the field. Luckily they've already terrored, so Ouchie! Great play, great play, great play. Damn it. That sucks. Let's not try to crunch my Tauros. Ooh, defense drop, that sucks. That sucks. Good play on their part. Good play on their part. So here I pretty much have to jet, and I don't even think I'm gonna I'm gonna live a sucker punch, unfortunately. Which makes this very, very scary. Luckily I have homies in the back that can still give us a pretty good chance of winning here. Ay ay ay. Now if they protect the Shang Pao, good play. If they protect the Shang Pao, good play. Or if they sucker punch my my Tauros. <laughs> Yo, we'll take it! We got the soul in battle number one. They could have played that out. They all they had to do re realistically was outspeed and kill Frostlass and sucker punch Tauros. Then it's a two-on-two. -two. You'd probably still lose to the Pokemon I brought in the back, but at least you'd have a chance. But hey, if you want to quit, that's totally fine. I will take the salt all day. I love me some pretzels, baby. Love me some pretzels. Saltiest snack in the world. Anyways, um, you guys saw what happened there. Essentially, we're going to Frost Breath our own Tauros, get to plus six, and start taking people out. And yeah, the homie wanted no smoke, so he ran for the hills, and we're going to go ahead and hop into battle number two. I'll be right back. So I'm very sad to announce that unfortunately we're going to be going up against a very scary team. All four genies and both Reggies. This looks horrifying. I'm not going to lie. To be honest with you, I would like to lead you. There's some tomfoolery going on around here. Let's lead the Grim and let's bring... Who else do I want with the Grim? Probably one of these two. And then lead, put these two in the back. Frost, Ass, and Tauros. Um... I think I want to do that. I think I want to do that. Not my most favorite play in the world, but... <clears throat> I know they're looking like, what the heck is this guy going to do? He's got a Excadrill that's not in the sand. 
A freaking Hisuian Electrode. What is happening? A Frostlass? What? Yes, sir. Bring in that heat. Bring in that sauce. Oh, yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Excuse me. So let's see what our opponent is bringing to the table. They're going to lead Aleki and Lando. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm not really worried about either. I'm going to fake out you. And I guess high horsepower? I feel like they both switch out of here, but who, who wants to take a high horsepower? Oh, they got a bunch of mods that wouldn't mind a high horsepower, so it's not high horsepower. Spirit Break. I think we still fake out, though, right? I don't really know what to do, so I just kind of, you know, improvised. Jeez Louise! Why did I have to get crit? I'm already at a disadvantage on paper with the teams we brought, and they had to crit me. That thing's not gonna like a rock slide. <laughs> Okie dokie! Yes, sir! Goodbye and goodbye. Because they don't know I'm scarf. They might know I'm scarf, but. Bop! Oh, we're cooking. Oh, we're cooking. We are cooking. We haven't even got the combo out yet. And I shut out speed here, and this thing is scarfed, and I don't miss a slide. Oh, we cooking different. We cooking different, baby. Scarfed Excadrill for the win. Out here going stupid. So let's see what their other mount is. Nice. I'm going to paralyze that thing. That is priority number one. Paralyze you, Rock Slide. They're probably going to take... <laughs> the quickest battle number two in the history, baby. What? That might be the quickest battle ever. No, no. no. I've had rage. I've had people rage quit on like turn one. So never mind. Not the quickest battle ever on my channel, but a very quick battle nonetheless. That was fast. I don't think I've ever taken out that many Pokemon that fast. That was fast. But, love to see it. You love to see it. And, um, yeah, we are going to go 2 and 0 oh in 11 minutes. That is impressive. A little more than 11, because I'm didn't. i not counting my intro right now, but still, very, very nice. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and hop into a third. Now, I want to talk about there. Uh, didn't want to lead the Tauros Frostlass. Wanted to lead more of a supportive option. As you saw, the Grim was very useful. The Extra Girl was very useful. I don't think I would have the same results if I led the typical lead, which is why I put them in the back this time. Um, being able to read what your opponent's bringing and adjust who you, who you lead is a huge part of being a, a good Pokemon player. You don't always want to lead your, your number one duo into certain strategic matchups. But anyways, I'm rambling. Let's hop into the third battle. I'll be right back. Yes, sir! That's what I'm talking about, baby. We got some very interesting Pokemon on this side of the field. Kingdra you don't see super often, especially outside of Rain. If you haven't seen my Kingdra video, go check it out. It's a pretty good mod. Um, Jolteon's interesting. You never see Jolteon on the ranked ladder. It's actually really good. Um, I won't give my strategy away yet, but you might see a Jolteon on my channel uh, sometime in the future. Anyways... Minute left, what's cooking? What's crack a -lacking? Um, just as I don't know what they want to do, I'm okay with leading the homies here. I think this time I want to bring Frost, or Frost as well. Obviously I want to bring Frost This time I want to bring Latias, I think, because if we keep Tauros alive, we just cook. Jolteon's a little scary, but not the end of the world. Yeah, it could be, is it, it's not Discharge, no, it's not Discharge. Malamar also scares me. Malamar is also a little spooky. I think I bring you for support again because I, I really don't know what they want to do. And I haven't brought Latios once yet, so let's bring the Latios. I really wanted to bring the Electro to a battle. Maybe I'll go for a fourth. We'll see. If not, he'll definitely be on a future team. It's a pretty standard set. 
things, I think at least. I don't know. I've never seen anyone run Electro, so I don't know what the standard set is for it. But I, I built what I felt was, you know, the best way to utilize its, its stats and abilities. <clears throat> You've got cool hair, my guy. What do these two want to do? I'm very perplexed right now. But what I do know... And what are the odds they superpower my Tauros? I'm a little worried. Because if that is just a typical contrary Malamar... So here's the thing. I can go Terra Steel to eat a, uh... <clears throat> I can go Terra Steel to eat a, uh... Ah... Uh, to eat a, a Fairy-type move. But if that Malamar goes for the superpower, I'm clapped. I think we just send it. I don't want to over-predict, but I think we just send it. Because I could probably eat both. Yeah. So let's Frost Lass, Terra... Or Frost Lass. Frost Breath, Terra Steel. Iron Head. And then if, I, if I'm able to live this turn, I just... I don't know, I Aqua Jet whatever comes in next. I really hope they don't go for the freaking superpower to Thor. I feel like they're going to. Like, I feel like I know exactly. Let's see if they're going to be Moonblast or Dazzling Gleam. It's Moonblast. Which I eat re relatively well. Get a special G drop. Please hit. Please hit. Thank you. If I outspeed Malamar, that also works. Because, yes, I'll, I might go down to a superpower, but at least I'll have Flutter down. I have no speed investment, though. Or very little, at least. Nice. I do have speed, so Flutter's gone. <clears throat> and if they knock off my Frost Lass or something, we're in a, an amazing position. Hopefully they go into Frost Lass here. They taunt the last. A little, too little, too late, homie. Well, actually, I guess it isn't. I didn't go for a status move the first turn, but... Uh, so now I can't Paralyze or Burn, which sucks, but at least Tauros is set up. Taurus is set up and Flutter is gone. That thing is scary. But I have Aqua Jet, which is exactly what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for the Nightshade into you. And Aqua Jet into you. Expecting a spiky shield, potentially. What you want to do, baby? What you want to do? I dare you to tear that Ogre Pond. I double the... Oh, okay. Okay, that works too. Goodbye. <laughs> Yo! Tauros is busted! My goodness! Tauros is absolutely filthy! I don't know why you're so fixated on Frostlass when Tauros is the one cooking your team. And have fun not being able to use foul play. If they foul play my Tauros, I just die. And they decided to foul play Frostlass. I promise you this is the ranked ladder. We're having silly ass plays like this. Anyways. Nightshade you. I should outspeed, right? But even if I don't, I think Aqua Jet kills from there. Let's play it safe. Let's play it safe. I should outspeed both these guys, but just in case I don't, I'm gonna Aqua Jet. What a dumb play. But they do live, which is unfortunate. If I doubled into the Malamar, we just take that thing out. They're gonna Stomping Tantrum me. I do eat one. And Trick Room, but unfortunately for you, Home Slice, I have Aqua Jet. So, am I still taunted? I'm taunted for one more turn. I'm going to Nightshade you again, and Aqua Jet you again. Nice. This team is absolutely... Like, our bro we What? What is happening? I have never uploaded a video that's been under... I have never uploaded a video that's been under 20 minutes. That was a, uh, um, a, a ladder video. Like, I've done, like, videos against, like, battled my friends, battled, like, um, gym leaders from, like, different uh, Pokemon groups that I'm in on Facebook. But as far as, like, ranked or ladder content, I've never had a video this short. This team just melts, melts the opposition absolutely melts them. Like, they can't do anything. I haven't used Double Kick yet, so why not? I imagine they quit here. If you're cool, you stay in and let me hit this Double Kick on you. That'd be neat. 
I mean, hey, you got the plus one from Meteor Mash. Who knows, bro? Who knows? They haven't terrored yet either, I don't think. Right? They haven't terrored? I don't think they have. I'm not too worried as far as, like, winning the battle. I just want to see the double kick animation. Nice. We will get to see a double kick animation. Plus six double kick. Does it get the double Rooney? There's the flinch. It does under speed. Oh, it's definitely getting the dub. Goodbye, Metagross. And that's going to be 3 0 in today's video. We are going to be just over the 20 minute mark, but still, our, pr probably the shortest ladder video I've ever uploaded because this team just eviscerates the opposition. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And once again, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I make the best teams on YouTube. Period. Point blank period. I make the best competitive doubles Pokemon teams on YouTube. That is a fact, okay? So, if you guys enjoy watching me run the off-meta homies in the ranked Regulation F format, please drop a like, drop a comment. I want to hear from you guys. You guys have been commenting a lot more often. Please tell me what you want to see on the channel. I've gotten some great suggestions. I've gotten, uh, I had a guy ask me for the Poke page for one of my teams. I can definitely do that for something you guys want to do. So if you guys want me to start making rental codes, things like that, I can, I don't know how to do it, but I can figure out how to do it and get that out to you guys. Um, if you guys want to see a certain Pokemon used, I can destroy the ranked ladder with any Pokemon in the game. I guarantee it. Um... Preferably a fully evolved Pokemon. I'm not a big fan. I know some people like using the baby mods. I can do it, but I prefer to use fully evolved mods unless I'm holding an Eevee Light or something. But yeah, just talk to me. I want to hear from you guys. And last, and most certainly not least, let me get a sub. The content I'm dropping is way too fire for 76 subs, which is what I was sitting at when I uploaded, or when I made this, when I'm filming this video right now. I'm dropping some heat, some fuego, some sauce on the Regulation F ladder, and I need more than 76 subs. How about this? We get to 100 subs, and you guys still want me to start doing rental codes? I'll start doing rental codes at 100 subs, okay? I think that's fair. You know what I mean? I think that's fair. So, that's what you guys want to see. Let's get to 100 subs. Let me know what else you guys want to see on the channel. I want to make you guys happy. I want to keep putting out fire content for y'all. Like I said in the beginning, y'all have been incredibly, incredibly, incredibly supportive, showing a lot of love, and yeah, thank you so much. Anyways, Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm going to shut up now. Peace out. See you later.